Good morning. Welcome back to another chapter of Adventure in Art. My name is Ben Staley, your resident talking head. In this chapter, I'm going to tell you about a recent trip I made to Salt Lake City to see my friends Mark Twight and Michael Blevins of Nonprofit, Profit with a PH, PH, where I had the opportunity to witness and photograph the binding of their recent publication, Poison Sermons on Suffering. What does all this mean? Hang on. Words are difficult, images less so. Who are my friends Mark and Michael? If I even consider making a photograph to fucking do it. Because you never know when you might not be able to. You never know when that option to take that portrait of that guy, you know, is, will no longer be there. <laughs> if you've watched the channel at all, you may have seen them in the Death Valley videos that I've made. We're going up into this little cavern, canyon. It looks like it was formed by geological time and, I don't know, a billion years of water and wind. I'm gonna go see if there's anything interesting up there. We're just gonna go get in it. Those experiences in Death Valley were the only time that I've seen or spent time with Mark and Michael in the last two and a half or so years. You can blame the pandemic on that or, you know, just busy work schedule, busy life. But uh, I love spending time with these guys. It's always valuable. And I found myself uh, in between work projects. So I hopped on a plane and went out to visit them. What is nonprofit? I don't really know. I, I don't know if they can tell you what it is, but I think four or five years ago, Mark and Michael started nonprofit. They started with a podcast and they quickly began producing a series of zines titled Rays, uh, which are pretty freaking awesome. A collections of stories, artwork, photography, essays, articles, oftentimes different collaborators, col collaborators, conspirators, whatever. <laughs> I've had some stuff in a few of them. Uh, I buy all of them because they're freaking awesome. Uh, they have uh, released some fitness-based manuals on strength and endurance. I think there's more in that series coming out. Mark's released a super amazing book of his own personal photography called Refuge. Mark's an amazing photographer. If you don't know, he's the one that actually gave me my Leica M6 that you see me use a lot. And he's really indirectly responsible for me owning my Leica Q2. He, he sent me down the Leica rabbit hole. Eh, I blame Mark. They also have a gym. They do a lot of work around fitness. They have these things called symposiums. <laughs> There's a lot going on. These guys are cool and they're out there pushing the envelope without a roadmap, without a real direction. Uh, everything they do, it resonates, it inspires, it challenges me. I think I work pretty hard at what I'm doing, what I'm trying to do, what I want to do. These guys, they're on another level and it's freaking cool. And I just think that if you watch my videos and you see what I'm doing, maybe what they're doing is gonna resonate for you too. What is poison? Well, that's all explained in the book, but it's a collection of essays that Mark had written over the course of several years and uh, many years ago. So they collected all those, put them in one book and offered them up on the nonprofit website. And I think the first batch sold out almost immediately. There's gonna be a second printing of the book, so you can still get a copy if you want one. How do you do that? I would suggest go to the nonprofit website. There is a place where you can subscribe. They will send you newsletters. 
it's not your typical spam freaking email that you're gonna get. But it is a way to be notified first when you can get some stuff that they offer up for sale. I think if you watch this channel, you know that I'm never on here trying to uh, convince you to buy anything or sell anything. I don't get any portion of this. This is my friend's project. Really, I'm just here trying to support them and I'm trying to let you know about some things that I think are pretty damn cool. They've got a lot of cool stuff on their website. You can get many, I think, many of the back issues of the Ray zine. You can get some cool t-shirts and some other things. So it's definitely worth checking out. When I went to visit them, it just happened that the very next day was the binding of the book. And I, I've never seen anything like that. So I went along with Mark and Michael and fellow photographer, world famous Blair Speed. I'm gonna put links for all these people down below. All these folks are amazing photographers. I have never watched a book being bound before. I actually didn't have any context for it. I, I had no idea <laughs> how this actually happened. There's these big pallets full of pages and people are feeding them into these machines and then at the other end, it spits out a book with a cover and everything. Pretty damn cool. And since we, uh, since we talk a ton about photography and storytelling and stuff here, I will say, geeking out a little bit over cameras and stuff, this kind of photography is the thing that this little Q2 really excels at, I think, just documentary style photography. Walking around, I got one lens, I can't have another. I do have a macro function, but I can get fairly wide enough shots, I can get close enough shots if I want to, this is the right camera for the right job. And it's why, it's, it's why this camera is my everyday carry camera. This is a hefty book. I don't know how many pages are in it. Over 400, 430 some with the acknowledgements. No pictures. Everything that they've released before has had a lot of images in it because Mark's a super avid photographer, Michael's a super avid photographer, they've had other photographers show their work. A lot of what they do revolves around photography and that's kind of what I have in common with these guys. This book, no photography, just words. Words are hard. Look at all these words. Let me read you some. Hard, not smart. Chapter 60, page 171. Sometimes you must sacrifice yourself on the altar of effort to be reminded of what and who you could become if you applied yourself. Often this requires an accomplice. On our own, we will hold back, hold something in reserve, but a good ally will drag you into the deep water and leave you there sputtering. He will encourage you to dive even deeper, perhaps by a simple presence. In front of our peers, we will always push harder, go farther, maybe beyond the resources we believe we possess. Those are some true words right there. I'm inspired by what these guys are doing, by their effort. I see, I see their creativity. I see their hard work. It makes me wanna push harder, do more, be better. I think we need those kind of people in our lives. We need it because we all have wants and desires, goals and ambitions. I see what Mark and Michael are doing and I just go, holy cow, there are more is possible. I can do more. I can be more. I can create more. Look, this is a cool book. They're going to be reprinting it. Pay attention. Subscribe. Try and get yourself a copy, or at the very least beforehand, pick up a zine or something like that. This stuff is really cool, you guys. And it's not like 
anything anybody else is doing. Back to some photography. This was just cool because we were all just kind of walking around this bookbinding place. I just remember everybody laughing a lot, which is amazing. What do you want to do? You want to make art with your friends, right? That's the best stuff in life. That's the funnest thing to do. This is Blair Speed. She's an incredible photographer. Her uh, social links and stuff are down below. Do yourself a favor and check out her work. Whoa. On the last morning, just a few hours before I went to the airport, we recorded a podcast. Like I said, <laughs> words are hard. I'm not sure that I uh, can really match wits with these guys. They are very intelligent, very smart, deep thinkers. Uh, I did my best, but uh, it's a fun conversation nonetheless. You can check it out. I'll put that link below. I'm grateful to have dudes like this uh, to sort of inspire and push me. And they do. I want to be better. I want to do better work. I want to do more. I can do more. I know that. So that's it, folks. Take a look at Nonprofit. Uh, take a look at some of their zines. Give a listen to some of their podcasts. Pretty cool stuff. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. It's going to be worth the effort. You can uh, go as deep as you want to go. Thank you so much for watching my humble little YouTube channel. And uh, we'll see you again real soon probably with some kind of photographic adventure. I've got some plans. Stay tuned. Words are difficult. Words are hard. Words are difficult. Words are difficult. Words are difficult. Images less so. Words are hard.